Automated material removal as a market, it's not just that it's emerging, it's here now and it's growing and it's only growing larger. So ATI recognized that this is an underserved market. This automated material removal represents tremendous growth opportunity and even more than that, an opportunity to solve problems that no one else is solving. ATI wants to be able to, to develop tooling and new technology to be able to address these problems that are holding people back. ATI hopes to build a future where material removal with robotics is just as ubiquitous as what we see in welding or in material handling right now. We want this to be easy. Automated material removal, it's really in its early stages. We don't have a lot of established solutions that are just copy and paste. So ATI has invested in a new engineering group to be able to design and create and innovate these new products to be able to address technical challenges. The function of the material removal team is really unique in a sense that we've got these three core engineering positions all working together. Between design engineering, applications engineering, and the robotic test engineers, our goal is to offer a complete package. Our design engineers are developing new technologies and putting them into new tools. Our robotic test engineers work directly with customers to build confidence in our tools through proof of concept testing. And our applications engineers are taking all that knowledge for broad support across the market. So we realized that we're a product company. One of the things that ATI understands as we look at new product development, the future of our own product line to serve this market, is that it has to be broad and diverse. Uh, we might have to, to really kind of feather a, a deburring operation for a sensitive part versus we might have to go to the other end of the spectrum and do heavy grinding and use a heavy duty abrasive and a high power tool and then everything in between. So in terms of the, the products we offer, there's three main ways that you can classify our products. Uh, the first of which are our axial compliant finishing tools, which accomplish a lot of what you'd expect from brushes, sanding media, polishing, kind of the finer finishing on uh, that end. There's also our radially compliant tools, which offer products such as our filing tool, as well as a wide range of rotary tools. And then finally, we're developing a new line of products that involve uh, actually adding compliance to hand tools uh, that are already out there in the market. So we've invested heavily internally to be able to better serve our customers and develop new products. But we have to go a step further. We have to reach out to industry experts and develop partnerships to be able to provide combined solutions for this industry. That includes reaching out to industry leaders in the abrasives world, in the cutting tool world, the giants of the robot industry. We have to reach out to partner integrators and form partnerships to be able to serve these customers and help customers see what's possible with robotics. Really the biggest challenge to getting into automated material removal is you don't know what you don't know. And there are so many different fields of expertise you need to have a successful integration. And that's why we're building this network of integrators and bringing more into it and giving them the expertise. So there's a wider pool of resources out there to help you integrate your material removal application. ATI wants to support systems integrators to help them on this journey, to help them grow into material removal experts with robotics. And so we want to do that with proof of concept testing. Let us use our expertise and our resources to prove to you what's possible. With ATI's testing services, customers can get a, a confident product recommendation and they can understand what a certain product might be able to do on their specific parts. But beyond that, they're getting a chance to visualize how this robot looks, how it works. They're able to visualize how a robot might look working on their part. And so they're getting that intangible confidence in automation for their specific process and their part. Proof of concept testing reduces the investment risk. We've got the expertise in-house to really hone in applications, get results that are attainable, and then ultimately you save time, money, and energy uh, to get results that you need for your end user's part. So by making this investment in automated material removal, ATI's ultimate goal is to make robotic material removal more approachable. Whether you're an end user or a systems integrator, we want to have the technology, the tools, the resources so that you can invest in this space as well, so that you can solve these problems, so that systems integrators know that this is a growth opportunity for them. And so if we're able to accomplish that goal, everybody wins. End users win, systems integrators grow and expand their business, ATI grows and has an opportunity to continue innovating in the market.